Where is Serana? Where did she go? Why? What are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna leave her. I think she's doing her own thing. And you know what? Power to her. Is there like a secret here? Turn candlestick. Aha! Uh -huh. Secret. I wish I could have a secret area in my house. That'd be cool. Nice, nice, nice. I wonder where this leads. Hopefully the crew can come back. I doubt it, but yeah. Nice. Alright, time to wait for Serana now to get her ass over here. I don't know what she's doing. The Volkihar Balcony. Soul Gem Fragment. It's always so dark here. Soul Gem Fragments. Soul, take soul gem shards. Okay, I took it. That looks important. Fire salts. Nothing else. Filter of vigor. Take that. That looks pretty important too. Another arcane enchanter. Is she here yet? More ingredients. Fire salts. Take void salts. Take purified void salts. I'll take that. Sure. The true nature of orcs. More books. Stuff that I don't need. Valerica's journal. Oh, this is kind of long. But yeah. I guess we can read it. It's her mother's journal. Archon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to do much, to do so much as listen to a word I say. I become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eye. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace, solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although, the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough for me to to long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the po oops, how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I am combining my own blood with the formula which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone mead, Purified void salts, I have that, and soul gem shards, oh I have that too. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More, un uh, more importantly, I must intact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Interesting, so she's the one that imprisoned her uh her daughter okay well it'd be nice if uh serana actually appeared but it doesn't seem like she wants to come out here for some reason finally ground bone meat i have it nice i have all the materials and i put them somewhere now build portal vessel Nope, I can't activate it yet. I think I need to talk to Serana. But she's bugged out, doing something. Maybe I need to reset the area somehow. I'll wait five hours just in case. Three, four, five. Nope, 
she just won't show up. Okay. Uh, I'll check on her. If she's doing that weird casting stuff still, maybe I'll try Fusaro dying her. <laughs> I don't know. If that doesn't fix her, I will... Uh, I'll try leaving the area and coming back. If not, I'll reload and fight those gargoyles again on easy, and then, yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, I think she's glitched out. Feeling, uh, feeling better? Ow. My rib cage. I think she's glitched out. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's glitched. Okay. I'm going to try leaving the area from the balcony and coming back in by using the console commands and then that should fix her. If not, it's no big deal because the save isn't that far off and I know what ingredients I need now to progress the story. Ahem. <clears throat> Let me use my Umbra powers real quick. Uh, wait, is this the one? Unlock. There we go, still got it. Okay, cool. Oh, what is it? Now you're fixed. My Good. Was sneakier than I thought. I wonder what she's hiding. Oh, really? I can't go back in? What? Wait, are you kidding me? I can't go back in. Unless... Can I only access it from a certain angle? Let's see. No, I can't. Shit, there's no way back inside. Okay. Give me a second. Can I... Can I somehow access the area from... Uh, Because I need to head back to the garden area. No, it would be it would be faster just to fight them again. Never mind. Yeah, it'd be faster just to fight them again. That's lame. I hate it when the game bugs out like that. I could have left through the other area, but that would have take, taken too long. Let me just disable this real quick. Okay, good. So, let's just get through this quickly. Switch back to novice. Summon my man himself. You know what? You guys can take care of that. I'm going to fucking... I'm going to the other side. You guys have fun with that. I'm going to get the ingredients right away. Serrano's like, what the hell? Where'd he go? Alright, grab the three items we need. That's a one. Uh, that's a two. And uh, where's the third one again? I think it's here. Yeah, it's here, this one. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, I have all the parts. Are you done fighting? Yep, I think they are Serana. We're getting close, I'm sure of it. Then let's go. Why are you always sneaking? He's like in a constant sneaking position. Alright, she's here. Now I can save. This place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Your posture sucks. God damn. Who taught you to walk like that? Me? Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Sounds good. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Alright. Well, we know what it is already. Here's the journal. But, one thing I did forget is to get my drip. 
Shit, I forgot. I reloaded my game and I forgot to get my drip. Let me get that real quick. I am nothing without my drip. My drip. Give me it. Yes. Okay, I think for this section I will leave it on novice since Serana is kind of like a poor com- like she's a poor combatant. I'm just going to uh, leave it on until we're out of the soul cairn because I know we're about to enter now. I remember this part of the, the game very slightly. Alright, well I have all the ingredients. Any luck yet? Found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. What's this soul cairn? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Then why did she care when where used souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. Well, we'll try it out then. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which if we could get that. You're her we daughter though, it should work. In the first place. She's like, damn it, no, I'm actually I'm actually an orphan. Hmm. Not bad. We better hope That'd be a funny revelation. Happen. Imagine Mistakes it doesn't work. Kind of You're adopted, Serana. Gruesome. What? Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Alright. Oh good. Well then, let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Cool. Okay. Time to put the ingredients inside. Voila. Speak to Serana. Serana, get your ass up here. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my Yeah, I have no choice. The crew isn't here anymore. Okay, here goes. They've abandoned me. Damn, I was hoping I could bring them to this area. Oh well. Observe. Oh my gosh. It's the portal. Well, incredible, simply incredible. Anything uh, you can tell me about it? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Why were why was she so fascinated by it? Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Okay. Did she keep why'd she keep gargoyles here? Not that I ever saw. Yeah. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Okay. I'm ready when you are. The ideal master as well. I just happen to be a master of my own. Ow, ow, ow! What the fuck? Are you alright? That looked painful. I'm dying here. It was. And now that I think about it. I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in for me. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. I don't want to be a vampire. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. Okay. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Well, it's okay. I'm already weak, so making me weaker will just make me, like... <laughs> <laughs> One shot regardless. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. 
Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. All right. In that case, have you made up your mind? Wait, what are the ideal masters? Nobody really knows. No one knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tanriel to tell about it. Well, okay. Interesting. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. You give the ideal masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Fools. Because most of the stories end with the ideal masters duping the necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. Okay. Well, soul trap me then. Let's Are do it. Sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. No, you'll do it. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. Do it. Do it. I am ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I don't trust you. I do it. I do anything that could hurt you. Turn me into a, a... Let's just get this over as with. As you wish. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. And so Arsene's journey came to an end. What? Okay. I am a weakened soul. Let's just check what that is real quick. Let me guess, it's a debuff, right? No, it's not. What? Where is it? Weakened soul. I guess I'll see it once I'm in the soul cairn. Let's go. I must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Alright, good. I have a level up stored up too. We are all good. Inside! Inside the purple zone. Oh, God! Now this is exciting. Wow. Look at the sky. What kind of place is this? Damn. Well, welcome to the Soul Cairn. Look at the sky. What kind of place is this? This place is trippy already, like a futuristic desert. All right. Who are you? I no longer hunger, grow weary. What day is it? I can't even pickpocket you. What year? What era? The sky. What kind of place is this? All right. Well, I guess we'll follow the path. Stick to the path. Cause uh, is there even a map in here? Oh, there is. There's a map in here. Okay. Who are you? Was I thought she looked a little portly in that gown. How was I supposed to know? Oh damn, Otema, the wolf god, oh the wolf queen. What's in here? It's a bunch of items. I don't see a switch though. Okay. Oh whatever. I probably won't do much, too much exploring here due to not having the crew. Why didn't they listen to me? The Glenmore witches, maybe? Leave me be. Very well. I shall grant your request and remove myself from your presence. Whoa! Okay. Already, huh? Let's do this. Get him down. Yeah. God, the Dramora guys actually talk like me. There could be no other end. Umber, why do you always talk like a movie star? What day is Because it's fun. What year? What era even? Good question. It is um 23rd of Sun's Dawn. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac? Who? Calm down, who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. How can I help? Arvac? Arvac? Where are you? Arvac, please come back. Come back. Well, he didn't answer. Oh, shit. Find Arvac's soul in the in the soul cairn of skull. Never mind. 
Oh shit, it doesn't even point me in the direction where he is. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. I kind of want to go off the beaten path. But at the same time... I don't want to get lost. What is this? That seems ominous. What if I jump into it? Not even? No. It's just pretty. Okay. Alright. Is there anything in here? There is. Search chest. Magica. Nice. Ah, oh, rip. You guys are right behind me. Whoops. I should have waited for you then. What is that? That looks so fishy. Jube Opus, page 6. What? I'll take it with me, why not? Some lore stuff. Can I jump in this? Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> my fucking eyes. Yeah, I don't know how expansive this place is, but uh, let's stay focused, because our, our goal here is the main quest. So, yeah. Alright, I think through here is the path we need to take. It only makes sense. Yep, this is the main path. And if I find Arvac or whatever, I will save him. Or her. Or it. Wow. Still got ways to go. Who are you? Did you know I visited elsewhere once? What a strange and wondrous place. Huh? What? Wait. Who are you? Who is this? Who is this guy? What the heck? It's an undead horse? I don't remember that. He's gone. Okay. What is this? Oh, another one of his pages. Okay. I'll take that. And you are? Well, look what we have here. Orphan Someone Stroud. On their bones. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Sylvagar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? So that's how you got here. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plucked here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you with friends around here. There must be something you want, though. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus looking things growing out of the ground. Oh, I just picked some up, Bring I think. Me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Okay. Fair enough, what do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather. Before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. Alright, got it. I don't have 25 husks. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Fuck that, I'm not coming back just for some husk. But I got you. There's nothing even in your wagon, you goddamn scammer. What are you talking about? How do I get in here? Damn. Alright. Also, where is Serana? Okay, she is here. It's just so hard to keep track of things because it's even darker than your average cave. Or maybe my brightness settings are just horrible on my computer. Maybe both. Alright. Anything over here? This looks like, a, like an, uh, an enemy ambush, but... Not seeing any enemies. Let me guess, that huge tower over here is where I need to go. So I'm just going to keep moving forward. Something... Oh, it's you again. 
What's the horse? Yeah, I'll follow you. Whoa, 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 enemies. Oh god, enemies. Kill them. Kill them all. Yes. It's a good thing they're pretty weak, all of them. Nice. Alright, let's keep going. On the hunt for a mum and a horse. I'm assuming Arvax a horse. The way he was describing him. Loyal companion. Oh, I made it. Wow. Okay. Looks like Dracula's mansion. Well, they are vampires after all. That must be her. Serana, I found your mom. Are you coming, Serana? Or do I have to wait? Yep, she's gonna take her sweet ass time. Okay, come on. Come on, right here. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? Stranger. You don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. No thanks. Okay. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Uh... I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. That's Serana right. Has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. And I'm, I'm here for the loot. That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? Serana's the key? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does she fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human Guys, stop. Stop telling me to we level up on the top left. Lord it's like the crew blocking me. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Bol on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Cold Harbor? Serana underwent this ritual. The tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Yeah, so she's a pure blooded then. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to. I see. Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? By, uh, you know, me and the crew will kill everyone. Perhaps her death is destined. I'll need your help. Give me the Elder Scroll. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. Then give me the Elder Scroll. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Yo. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Care, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. 
evil creatures that need to be destroyed. I'm just here for the Elder Scroll <laughs> based. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the sun, despite the cost to survive. Nothing else matters. The stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? So, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Yes. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear. Speech 100. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Good. Fuck him. I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. We'll keep saying that. Oh, I keep saying that, Arsene. Yes. I've kept it safely We're here for the scroll. I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Okay. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Okay. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Oh boy. A the dragon here have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Okay. Sounds good. If I leave the soul cairn, can I return? As you've been traveling in the soul cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Okay, easy peasy. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Yeah, I'll try my best. I'm more concerned about keeping myself safe. Uh, thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much. All right, gotta kill the boneyard keepers now. Oh, thank God they have quest markers. I was about to flip. Serana approaches me. Hey, Let's kill those why are you, why are you such a dick to my mom? Does this look like the face of someone who is friendly? 